When you look at a cut, the blood looks like a red liquid, but it is actually made up of billions of cells in a pale yellow colored fluid called plasma. There are three main types of blood cells in your body, red blood, white blood cells, and platelets. Here is what blood looks like after being spun in a centrifuge, separated into different parts. Individual blood cells are much too small to be seen with your naked eye, but under a microscope they can be easily observed. Plasma is the liquid, mostly water, in which blood cells swim. It contains needed minerals, vitamins, sugars, and hormones that are used throughout your body. Red blood cells carry oxygen and carbon dioxide around your body. Red blood cells, also called erythrocytes, get their color from the iron-containing hemoglobin that they carry. Each red blood cell has 300 million hemoglobin molecules. Hemoglobin has the special quality that it can pick up or bind oxygen as the blood travels through your lungs and then drop it off or release it at cells throughout your body. This oxygen provides the fuel or energy for all the work that your body does. Like an exhaust system, the red blood cells take away the carbon dioxide produced when your body burns oxygen. Your red blood cells exchange oxygen for carbon dioxide. When you breathe, you take in or inhale fresh oxygen, but you also breathe out or exhale excess carbon dioxide that is brought to your lungs by your blood. Red blood cells are as important to life as breathing in and breathing out. Your body is in constant battle against invaders. Every day, germs such as viruses and bacteria may find their way into your body and can make you sick. In your blood, white blood cells, also called leukocytes, of various kinds, spring into action to combat these invaders. These cells are an important part of the immune system. One type of white blood cell, the neutrophil, also called granulocyte, surrounds and literally gobbles up the invading germs, just like Pac-Man. The four other main types of white blood cells attack germs in different ways. They are lymphocytes, T cells and B cells, monocytes, basophils, and eosinophils. Platelets form clots and stop bleeding. When you cut yourself, you create a hole in your skin and blood vessel. As a result, you not only start to bleed, but germs can enter your body. When this happens, many processes go into action to plug the hole to stop the loss of blood, remove dirt and germs that find an easy way into your body through the hole, repair the damage done to your body. Platelets are actually fragments or pieces from a large blood cell, megakaryocyte. At the first sign of damage in your blood vessels, platelets swing into action. The platelets work together with a protein called fibrin and with red blood cells to weave a temporary plug or clot to stop the bleeding. It's like putting a Band-Aid inside your body. Like a beaver building a dam, platelets glue together many different substances in the blood to form a barrier to the blood flow. This stops the bleeding as your body grows new cells and repairs the damage. Considering how hard our blood works for us, shouldn't we take good care of our bodies with a healthy lifestyle, including plenty of exercise, a low-fat diet, and not smoking? Stay tuned for more Bloodology Series videos brought to you by NYBC.org. This Bloodology Series was brought to you by New York Blood Center please visit www.nybc.org forward slash get involved to learn more about our life-saving mission.